so hi guys so welcome back to our youtube channel and if you're new here please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel but before we go into the video guys i have three questions that will be answered during this video number one are international students able to work and study in northern cyprus two what is the minimum wage for any international students in northern cyprus and three what are kind what kind of jobs are there in northern cyprus my name is gladwell Mombi, and i'll be taking you through in this video what exactly we have to know about working in northern cyprus and also we'll be interviewing international students who are working in northern cyprus so let's get started guys Many people, when they come to Northern Cyprus, they ask us, hmm, can I study and work at the same time? And also, what is the minimum wage in Northern Cyprus? Even the other stories that people have that doesn't make sense in Northern Cyprus, whereby you hear, like when you come to Northern Cyprus, you're able to pay your school fees or you're able to live a lifestyle that is very good but still you don't have a job and also people are asking are you given a working permit when you come to northern cyprus so those are the questions i'll be answering when i'm with you here guys so first of all i will be interviewing one international student in northern cyprus who is working currently in northern cyprus and she will give us some experiences she has gone through during her time in Northern Cyprus. So let's go and meet her, guys. So how are you? I'm fine. So just introduce yourself and tell us about a little bit about yourself. So hi guys, I am here with my friend Billy and she's going to tell us more about herself. Billy. Hello guys, my name is Bronfilda Billy. I am a Cameroon by nationality. I am probably schooling here in Northern Cyprus. And I'm studying tourism and hotel management in Northern Cyprus. So just tell us, how did you know about Northern Cyprus? My mom met with an agent who was here in Northern Cyprus. That was early. 2021. Uh -huh. So he taught my mom about Northern Side Pros uh -huh. and the schools in Northern Side Pros. So actually, I came to Northern Side Pros to study. Okay. So, how do you feel about Northern Side Pros personally as you experience like staying here from 2020? Well, when I just came to Northern Side Pros, that was early 2021. It wasn't that easy, but back then the currency was a little bit uh, moderate. But as time passes by, the currency begins to depreciate. We start facing inflation and other things. So currently, I work and I school in Northern Cyprus. I do part-time jobs in Northern Cyprus, maybe housekeeping, because I study hotel management in school. So I deal with housekeeping or maybe restaurant part-time job. But it's not that easy in Northern Cyprus to work and school as an international student. Okay. Just give us more experiences, like some experiences that you faced the first time while working in Northern Cyprus. Okay, when I first came to Northern Cyprus, I my first job was housekeeping. I worked with a Turkish woman, it wasn't that easy. They are, they, they are doing racism and their minimum wage is so low back then. But it's, it's not easy to work in school in Northern Cyprus, so I cannot advise students if you are leaving Africa and coming to Northern Cyprus, what you should focus is your school. Maybe if an agent told you that 
when you come to Northern Cyprus, you're going to work and school, which is not true. You should come first if you have a sponsor who will take care of your school fees. That is fine. But if you are coming to work and school, that you will just come and see a job waiting for you, it's not possible. Uh, just a question. Uh, what was your first salary, if it's comfortable with the sharing? Like your first job? Well, that's no problem. When I started working, that was uh, 2021, part time. A day was 100 till. So 100 till cannot even pay your bills, not to talk of your house rent. But at that time, the currency was not that bad. So at least I could eat. <laughs> so that's just it. So just give me like, what are you currently doing right now? Are you still at the same place or you're in a different job occupation? Oh, presently I'm not still in the same job. I left housekeeping job. Now I'm doing, I'm working in a shop, a clothing shop. The, the, the pay there is a bit better because the currency has lost value. So the increased pay. So I can say right now, my job is not that bad. But it's still part time, so I cannot say it's good or it's bad, but it's just manageable. So just give us, is there good experiences that you have gotten or? Yes, in Northern Cyprus, you will meet all kinds of people. Some are good, some are bad. First, then in Northern Cyprus, you will see most UK people they live here, Turkish people they live here. So you will meet people that do racism and you will meet some that will like you. Like I have worked in more than four places. I can say um, I had just one experience. Like my first employer, she was not that good or friendly. She was always, but for the other ones that I've worked with, they have been good to me. So I cannot say they are bad or something. So are you thinking of continue working here or you want to open your business? Is there something? Uh, with that, I am almost graduating. So, and I study hotel and tourism. So once I finish graduating, if I get a good job here, maybe minimum wage or more, I can decide to stay in Northern Cyprus. But if I don't, I'm thinking of maybe migrating to the UK because to be honest, Northern Cyprus is not that good. So what can you tell for those students who always think like, when I come to Northern Cyprus, the first thing, is getting a job, what advice can you give them? Like a short advice you can give them for those students who think coming to Northern Cyprus, you just get a job that day or the following week, you understand? So what, what can uh, The only thing I can tell students who are coming to Northern Cyprus thinking that they will just come and see a job. It doesn't work like that. You should be prepared on what you are coming to face in Northern Cyprus. On a normal day, Northern Cyprus, for African students, it's just for schooling. It's, it's a country, like, it's a tourist count, touristic country. But if you are living in Africa and coming here, just put it in your mind that you are coming to study. Maybe if you find a job, which is a good opportunity, you can switch to that. But what you should have in mind is that you are coming here to study. Because if you say you are coming to look for a job, it's going to, your mentality is going to change when you get here. So it's, I cannot advise African students coming to Northern Cyprus, focusing their mindset on that when I get here, I'm going to have a job and I'm going to school. You have to prepare your mind that when you get here, the first thing in mind is that you're coming to school. Yeah. Then your job can come off after if you see your job. Thank you very much, Billy. Thank you. It's very nice for inter talking to you today. I know there are many people who are thinking, oh my God, um, I had hopes. So I had so many questions about uh, Northern Cyprus, about work, and they've had your story and your advice to them. So thank you very much. Thank you too. So during the interview, guys, I hope that you understood some key things that you took from her words. Why is that? So as an international student, it is not easy to study and work in Northern Cyprus. So those people who had so many rumors and also many 
many stories about Northern Cyprus as an international student that you get a job. I th don't think that's possible, but it is possible to get a job. But also, as she said, coming to Northern Cyprus don't depend only on the salary you're being given. As you have heard, the amount she was being paid, which was not enough. So always consider having a sponsor who can manage you during your lifestyle in Northern Cyprus and also who is able to pay for your fee. So guys, as you finish this video, I hope that you really learned something about this video, about coming to Northern Cyprus as an international student. And also always be patient when looking for a job, guys. So thank you very much for watching our channel. And also for those who have not yet subscribed, guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So bye, guys.